Hi, everybody. Welcome to the second segment, episode 213 of Sold with Updike Pew. I have Jeremy Radcliffe with us today with SWBC Mortgage. Can, welcome. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me on again. It's great to be with you guys. So I asked Jeremy to come on because we wanted to talk about um, one of the things that's going on in the mortgage industry right now that's called a 2-1 buy-down and kind of explain what that does and how it just how it works. Yeah, well, so with interest rates having ticked up over the last nine months, um, we've seen um, some buyers who might just say, you know what, I don't know what to do. I've, it's kind of changed the way my payments look. I'm not quite as comfortable with that higher payment. And um, it all starts with the, and I'm working in the opinion that I think interest rates are gonna come down in the next 12 to 24 months. There's a product that's been around for a while. It's not new, um, but what it's called, it's called a 2-1 temporary buy-down. And basically the way it works is it allows for reduced payments uh, in those first two years. So let's say if you're working at a higher rate, and I think we might have a slide that talks about this a little bit, but if that rate's higher, okay, there, thanks. Um, if you're showing 6875 as the permanent rate, um, that monthly payment's 3285. What happens in that first year, that payment's gonna drop by 2%. So you get a discounted subsidy amount of $639 a month for that first 12 months. Uh, and this is on a $500,000 loan amount. In that second year, then that amount goes down to $327 a month because the rate has adjusted down by that 1% 1, 1 to 5.875 in our illustration. The benefit to clients uh, and to buyers right now is it's, a, it's making that jump into home ownership a little bit more palpable when mm -hmm. they consider, hey, I, I feel like my income is continuing to grow year over year. Uh, I'm going to continue to make more money. Uh, but right now, I would love to see a you know a seven thousand dollars swing in payment in my mm -hmm. first year, another thirty six hundred dollars in my second year. Absolutely, uh, that makes a big difference. And then knowing the thing I like about this too, Jeff, is that payment should interest rates stay where we are, it's never going to go beyond that discounted rate. So it's not considered an arm or adjustable rate mortgage where it, it could potentially change. Uh, down the line. So years, uh, months 25 through 360, which is basically a third through 30th year. Correct. Fixed rate 6.875. Correct. And that's used, the, that was the numbers I was using for my illustration. Um, but you can see that first year it's draw, it's reduced by 2%. Uh, second year it's reduced by 1% and then it never changes over that ultimately that undiscounted rate. So, And you really kind of jumped ahead of our first question, which was what happens at the end of two years and that... That, yeah, that really is. It just it doesn't change, right? So at the end of that two years, um, is the, the 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 payments actually do never uh, adjust again. So you're going to see that undiscounted rate uh, kick into effect in in month 25 through the remainder of the term, um, and then obviously um, we're consistently and regularly looking for opportunities for clients to save money should interest rates come down. Uh, and, in the future. And you said that uh, this has to be paid for, paid for by the seller. Correct. So one of the interesting things about this is it's considered a uh, temporary buy down and it's it, it's a subsidy to the buyer and compliance purposes don't allow it to be paid for by the buyer. Hmm. It actually has to be paid for through the seller. And you can do that um, and your real estate agent, Jeff and Wes can explain that, but you can make an offer asking for the seller to cover that temporary buy down at the time of uh, contract. And what happens if, let's say, a year from now, 18 months from now, the interest rate drops, the the, well, the market rate that you're offering Correct. at that point is down? So the, the, these are plain vanilla 30-year conventional fixed mortgages. Um, what that means for you is that there's no prepayment penalty. So, and that's one of the things that I was saying is that we're always looking for opportunities for should rates come down. The cool thing about this, too, is that temporary buy-down amount, it's different than if you maybe paid money on a discount point mm -hmm. to buy that rate down. It's different. This money that you use um, does not get lost should you refinance within 24 months. So any balance remaining on that subsidy amount or that temporary buy down amount could be used to, would, just reduces what your balance is mm -hmm. on that refinance or used towards closing costs. So we'd, when in your example, the uh, uh, first year that they, they saved like 7,600. Correct, yep. And then, so if they refinanced yep. it, month 13. Correct. They've got $3,600. $3, $3, yep. Okay. That's yep. great. Yeah. Um, so any, any balance on that? And that's a, that's a high compliance factor. And, and we're obligated as uh, loan servicers to make sure that that money gets reimbursed. So when, um, so when borrowers apply on, on that, what rate do you qualify them against? Good question. So we are qualifying on that undiscounted rate. So if you're in our illustration here, we were using that um, higher rate at the 6875. That rate is what's actually used for the purpose of qualification. 
um, and underwriting, everybody's using that. Um, and that's the standard in most cases where if you're even on adjustable rate mortgage, you're always going to go with that higher mm -hmm. rate. It, and that really keeps us very different than what we dealt with in 2007. Correct. Where yeah, where we, we want to make qualifying sure qualifying on 2.2%, but Correct. the ultimate rate could be 11. Yeah, we don't want any gotchas <laughs> anymore in the mortgage, uh, mortgage space. Those are, those are no, they're no more fun now. <laughs> no, it's not. And, and uh, the thing I like about this, and I was mentioning to you earlier before uh, we jumped on, this is pretty much exclusively what we've been, as I've illustrated this to clients, um, and I think a lot of my clients have a, a general sense, too, that they do think rates are going to come down in the next 12 to 24 months. Um, and when I show them this, they're just like, man, this looks great. And exclusively, that's pretty much what we've been locking. I think one of the clients. things that we uh, talked about last week, uh, we, Weston and I were talking about, was that I think the stat was like 72% of the loan applications that people, uh, people had done nationwide were on some kind of... Uh, Permanent buy down or, or temporary buy down. Temporary, yeah. Yeah. And it's on everything that I'm seeing. I get all the newsletters from different uh, mortgage gurus, and, and it's quite quite the, uh, the, the very popular uh, product right now. And I, I think it's popular because it, it's helping people, and, and I'm of the opinion, I think you would agree with me, um, taking ownership of, of real estate is such a key foundation to wealth and to building wealth. And if you could say, hey, I'm going to subsidize my monthly payment for the first couple of years so that I get the opportunity to own that appreciation mm -hmm. of, of those properties I'm, I'm owning. It just um, it, it seems to make sense to me financially. Yeah, so. it really does. The, the, um, there's, most people get their first belt of wealth in their first home. That for and they're they're building it while they're living there. They right. don't really see it until they actually sell the property. Right. But you know that is why there are companies that are set up that are trying to buy that entire belt of property out yep. because they realize that 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 is also that is why consumers make money. Right. right. Yeah. And I I just feel like and every time I talk to uh, first time home buyers or people who are currently renting. And I always just want to stress the fact, like, consider the opportunity cost of not buying right now. Um, yes, rates are a little bit higher, but and you've heard that there's been some kitschy little phrases going around, like you're not forever locked in on interest rates. There are opportunities where rates may come down in the future, and so we actively look for, for opportunities. Marry the rate. Yeah, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> no, it's really getting. It's getting Everybody's worn out. been saying it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Jeremy, thank you for coming yes, in again. I, I love having you here because you've always got such great detail oh, on the dollar information. You know, our clients that we send every client to you that we can, and every one of them comes back oh, and tells us how positive it is working yeah. with you and Carly. Well, you know, I, if I can, I want to just brag on you guys again. I mention this often about y'all. Y'all, you guys are so good about being able to get clients in under contract when they they find a property they're excited about. And that's one of the things I really uh, respect and appreciate about y'all. Y'all are great on the negotiation side. So, Well, thank you very much. We yep, appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely. Hopefully you found some of this helpful. Uh, look in the comments below. You'll be able to get a link for Jeremy's website. Uh, if you've got any questions, certainly reach out to him directly. We'll have his email address in there also. And if there are any other topics that you'd like us to talk about, please just let us know. We'll be happy to make that happen. And just remember, we want to be your realtors for life. When you're ready to talk real estate, you can reach us online, by phone, or by text at 214-377-2223. And remember, we want to be a Realtors for Life.